I'm getting a bit of deja vu of their Brexit games. Let's begin. Okay, this story is from Sky News and it says, The 1922 Committee of Conservative MPs are considering a real change that would mean Boris Johnson could face a second confidence vote later this year, Sky News has learned. Under the current rules, the Prime Minister would be immune from another challenge for a year if he wins such a vote. Well, if they think that Boris may survive a confidence vote and they actually want him out, then... Why put in the letters at the minute? To be honest though, I think that overall, apart from the recent Partygate issue, obviously, that Boris has been doing, you know, a pretty good job in handling that unprecedented situation we're all in at the minute. And probably actually far better than what Labour would have done. I mean, no doubt they would have kept us in the European Medicines Agency, as they seem to love the EU so much, don't they? Which would mean that the vaccine rollout probably would have been far behind the level of where it is now. Labour also appear to be more in favour of lockdowns and masks in general, whereas I'm pretty sure the majority of the public aren't. Keir Starmer himself actually also seems a bit of a hypocrite to me because whilst the number 10 garden meeting was outside, there's a video clip going about of him of drinking beer inside with workers, which is surely something that also shouldn't have been done at all, even though it looks like he's trying to play it down. So he's no better in my opinion, especially as it apparently spreads more easily inside too. But then again, the mainstream media, for some reason, don't really seem to want to talk about that much, do they? Proposals have been floated for there to be a possible second ballot, but only if a higher threshold is met. At the moment, 15% of Tory MPs have to write letters of no confidence to Sir Graham Brady, chairman of the 1922 committee, to trigger a contest. Well, I wonder what percentage of the party that would be. Would it be 20, 25, maybe even 50%? Although, to be honest, I doubt that. I mean, there still should be some sort of limit, though, because, for instance, if the vote didn't go the way they wanted, then those same MPs could put in another letter and have another vote again next week. And then the week after that, if it still maybe didn't go their way. But, of course, as we learned from Brexit, quite a lot of MPs have a hard time accepting democracy, don't they? <laughs> 